Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick heads up that if you are still running Windows 10 version 21H2, that in approximately two months time, it's reaching its end of servicing on the 13th of June, which means that after that date, you will no longer receive important updates um, like the Patch Tuesday security updates going forward. Now, um, just a quick recap, Windows 10 21H2 was the feature update that rolled out in November of 2021. So as of the 13th of June, um, that means it would have reached its 18 month end of life cycle. Now, if we head over to the calendar, just to put this into perspective, if we jump ahead approximately two months to the 13th of June this year, 2023, which is the second Tuesday of June, which means it's Patch Tuesday. Um, that is the last Patch Tuesday you will be receiving updates for Windows 10 21H2. After that date, it's no longer supported. And Microsoft says on June 13, 2023, Home Pro, Pro Education and Pro for Workstations editions of Windows 10 21H2 will reach end of servicing, i.e. end of life. Now, um, if we head over to Windows Update quickly, um, Microsoft has mentioned uh, in an announcement in this regard that to help keep you protected and productive, Windows Update will automatically um, initiate a feature update for Windows 10 consumer devices and non-managed business devices that are at or within several months of reaching end of servicing. So um, if you are seeing a option to upgrade to Windows 10 22H2 or if your device meets the system requirements to upgrade to Windows 11, um, then you will have to make a plan to upgrade to at least Windows 10 version 22H2 to continue receiving uh, quality and security updates. Because if you don't, then um, Microsoft will start automatically updating your machine to the latest stable version of Windows 10 version 22H2. And uh, um, it is, as mentioned, always recommended to upgrade to a newer version if your device is reaching end of life, um, because that means that you will be able to continue to receive those all important security and quality updates and uh, just a quick side note um, if you do upgrade to windows 10 22 h2 uh, it's going to be a quick short update uh, it's an update regarding and using an enablement package and you're not going to notice anything um, too much different between version 21 h2 of windows 10 and Windows 10 22 H2 and um, they are basically at the core and foundation exactly uh, the same look and feel so there's nothing really to be concerned about when it comes to um, not being able to locate different things it's all going to be there it's all going to more or less look the same and uh, um, if you do meet the requirements to upgrade to Windows 11 then you can also take that jump and that leap if you meet the system requirements and if you'd like to know and you are not completely sure as to what version of Windows 10 you are running uh, you can always just head to your search and type in WinVer, which is about Windows, and yeah, you'll see the version. Um, I'm currently running 22H2, which is the latest stable version. If you are seeing version 21H2, then you need to make a plan to upgrade to Windows 10 22H2, or you can also move over to Windows 11 if your device supports it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.